Hello, welcome back. Last time I started the Ross Ice Shelf, and it was just as good a time as I remembered. What I also remember is this right branch is going to be a super nightmare. Ice Machine is, and one that comes after that also is, and I'm not sure about the other one after that. But we have heavy weapons, which I remember nothing about. Finally, I get to use my FIN heavy weapons training. Ah! The FIN trained you in heavy weapons? Yeah. What did they train you in? Parapsychology and library science. Mm-hmm. Both useful in their own way. Uh, she also knows tofu, <laughs> which we'll get to at some point. <laughs> All right, so there's a starfish here, by the way. That's worrying. Um, looks as simple as getting flounder there, though. I guess the issue is making sure there's enough space. Yeah, there is an issue in making sure there's enough space. Okay, so if I did this, what would happen? Flounder would never get out. Wait, so... What do you suppose would be the way this would be gotten? It could be a thing where Flounder pushes something... Funny shaped and then Guppy actually gets it. But like, he has to get out. This sword is a big problem. There's a boomerang here. Can't do anything with it except move it left and right a little bit. So it's a lever for who knows what. Okay, so are these perhaps meant to fill in those spaces? Even if they did though, that still wouldn't help in getting the starfish. So what's the deal with this ice here? It goes up. I can push this left. If the boomerang were... There's nothing I can do with the boomerang to help. Uh, wait, what do I want to do here? It's suspicious that we still haven't found our contact. It sure is. Flounder, he was buried under tons of ice. I don't think anyone will ever find him. Ooh. Except maybe those Vikings. Oh, yeah. True. They were down here. Okay, so... I'm noticing these three one-by-one one objects and three potential holes to fill. Maybe I want to fill that hole, though. That's a hole I very much want to fill. Yes, I like that. How would I do such a thing? This hole is okay to fill. It looks like I can't do much. I can drop a... I can't drop a dagger down to you because that's too far above the water and also she couldn't move it on her own anyway. Oh, though, actually, maybe if I got this ice up, I could do something. Mm, not really, though. Because all this would do is just go down there and then kill me. Uh, well, the ice would. So this doesn't move left or right. Yeah, wait, what is the deal with you? I can do that to lift the ice. I lose the dagger. Okay. I'll be glad to get out of Antarctica. I think my skin is turning blue. <laughs> Flounder, you're a blue fish. <laughs> yes, but I think my skin might be turning even bluer. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Uh, Flounder can release that ice. I don't see anything I'm accomplishing yet. I can go under here and now I can't boost that hammer. I can move that ice over a little bit. Doesn't mean anything. Does it? Mm, no. No. Could it eventually? Mm, not that I can tell. Thank mm. goodness we finally escaped from that avalanche of ice. Well, you may have escaped, but I'm still feeling a little bit trapped. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It really feels like this shuriken wants to go here. But Guppy's not going to be able to do that no matter what. The hammer needs to somehow help me push these things over. How that would happen is a mystery to me. 
I can't get anything out of doing this. I just Oh, maybe I can. Hang on. That has changed my circumstance slightly. And I can put this left, and here we go. That lever made the L-shaped ice no longer able to rise here. Is that good for some reason? It could be, because yes, now, um, that's fine. I lose the hammer, that, is that okay? It might be. Because now I have the ability to push that stuff left. Left's not exactly the direction I want. I guess this is the simple way, the no starfish way, right? I think this works for that. Reload this, lose the ice, that's fine. Drop the pipe, push the sword. I'll be glad to get out of Antarctica. I think my skin is turning blue. Flounder, you're a blue fish. Yes, but I think my skin might be turning even bluer. Well, I guess I'll take the solution since I have it in front of me. Alright. We'd better put a call into headquarters. I'm sure the boss will be relieved to hear that we are alright. Hmm, I'm sure he will. The one who sent you there and told you to park under the ice shelf. Finally, heavy weapons. I right. get to use my FIN heavy weapons training. The FIN trained you in heavy weapons? Yes. So... This boomerang somehow has a role? How do you imagine that is? It could hold something temporarily there and Flounder could push it out of the way and die. Do I need to do more with this hammer? I can't, I can't really get around it. So the thing that seemed more or less helpful was this little shuffle. Now, why did this do... Right, okay, because that little ice doesn't get pushed over by that. Then I pulled the hammer. I can push left right now, which is, in fact, what I ended up doing. So everything's the same so far. The little ice could have gone where the boomerang is and maybe interacted with it differently. Could it have? It could have, but this would go up. Could that be okay? Maybe. Can't get this where I want it. Mm hmm. Nothing good is happening now. So, no. What is the boomerang for? So, yeah. I want something in here. Obviously, the shuriken goes. Guppy can't How push can it. I you heavy weapons training. I'm the one who can lift steel pipes. <laughs> <laughs> she has no response to that. Uh... So where do I have a meaningful choice here? I can push this down. I can push this down. I can push it over and get the sword stuck there. I can't push that left anymore. I can only pull it. Guppy can't come in here and do anything with the axe. I can push this farther over to the right. No, not without losing the sword. So I'm kind of railroaded into that. Do I do something with this to keep the pipe out of the... This is suspicious. Um, hang on, I can, uh, I can do this differently. Check it out. So I can survive like that. That puts that down there though, and I think there's no way I can get the starfish after that's happened. 
So no, I'm losing this dagger unless like something else is uh, somewhere somehow. Hmm. Well, I Oops. don't think that was the right move. I agree. So what happens if I do this? Only bad things. What if I do this? Now that's interesting. Yeah, I think that's the key. Um, no. Oh, yes, actually. Got it. So the shuriken's gonna come down this route, and that's what the boomerang is for somehow? Except how is the boomerang actually involved? So... This is definitely a thing right here. Like, I'm, I'm certain what I'm doing is involved. The, the puzzle geometry is just too specific for it not to be. However, I can't pull that left now. So I guess I needed it like this, which works. Okay, but now the hammer. Did I need to mate the shuriken with the little ice? I couldn't and also move this into place as far as I know. I could have moved the hammer to the right. There we go, hammer slot. Okay, am I done? I think I'm done. Cool. That was not bad at all. Pretty gentle starfish. There are some of those. I just cannot tell by looking at a puzzle which one's going to be gentle and which one's going to be a super nightmare. Nice work. This was easy. I can dip into my memory reserves. Well, I had put a call into no memory of this puzzle, which sure the boss will be usually means we it wasn't right. a big deal. But all right, cool. Got that starfish. Should we go see the ice machine? So that's opened up the UFO. All right, that's fun. I remember something about the cutscene in the opening to that chapter. Anyway, ice machine. What is this? Oh, this is a good voice line. It's a machine, guppy. <laughs> oh, brother. It's something about we the just delivery have to of that. Out how it works. It's a machine, guppy. <laughs> That's one of those lines that just like burned itself into my brain. I don't know why that one, but but that one. Okay, right. These are like coins or something, and plungers go back and forth to dispense them. Yeah, okay. Coin goes in, ice comes up. I remember this. This was one of the later puzzles that I solved, so my memory of this is a little more recent than some of the others. I must put one coin in here to get the starfish, so I don't get all three ice out. How does Flounder escape? So one ice goes here, one coin goes here. All that's actually required for the puzzle is the one ice here. Okay. So... I put in a coin. Let's just see the basic working of the machine first. Uh, you can move left by me just directly pushing you. It's a machine, guppy. Okay, well, this uh, is more straightforward than I remembered. Well, having some idea of what it actually does definitely helps. Wait. It's too bad we why? can't move that big chunk of ice on the ceiling. Oh, yeah. I think that's part of the Ross ice shelf, Guppy. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Guppy. We figured out how the machine works. That's great, Flounder. But how will it help us get out? This part won't. This part also kind of won't. Uh, okay, yeah, so it can dispense in reverse. Somehow. Hold up. Okay. Right, so this is how it helps. It puts that little item there, so this can actually go up. That's the key, that's why it's important. So I'm gonna have to somehow, like, jam it up by putting two things through it at once or something like that, I think. Uh... You go to the right to some extent. Uh, I'm gonna have to hold you down or something? And have Flounder push this? That's what it looks like to me. So, yeah. But don't I lose access to this plunger after that? Maybe this will push it back? Maybe. Uh, so I want Guppy to hold it down? Apparently. While Flounder does the rest of the work? 
Does this hurt you? Not again. It does. Oh. Of course it does. Wait. So I need another piece of ice there just so that that can go through? No, 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 no. I can push it down after. Right. I'm thinking of it wrong. Okay, this is, like, so much simpler than I remember it being. <laughs> Maybe the complications are yet to come. But just, I remember just basic understanding of what this machine does, uh, being a huge stumbling block. Oops, uh... Yeah, you're fine as you are. I need my other fish. Travel time can get to be a bit much in puzzles like this, but that's fine. Okay, now. Um, obvious issue, this does nothing. It's a vending machine, Guppy. You put in money and it dispenses ice cubes. I guess the third one will go here. Some machine. We have to do all the work. <laughs> all right. You put in money and dispenses ice cubes. Okay, yeah. So he thought he'd figured out how it worked when the coin came down at the bottom. But when the ice cube actually comes out, you actually figure it out. So yeah, get three up here. Guppy can pull one down and get out of the puzzle. But I have to somehow break the machine so that I only need two ice cubes. When do I have an opportunity to get a coin out of it? I think I see one. Right here. Uh, no, I'm mistaken. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to mate those two in the... I, I basically wanted to get this coin across here. Well, what if two coins? I mean, strictly speaking, I think... Oh, but no, that's just gonna... They'll sort of jam each other up. Well, I don't know. Can't be sure of anything yet. Maybe I want two ice cubes. That might be possible. Yeah, because this just creates a floating thingy that doesn't really do anything. Uh, yeah, that is not what I want. Okay, let's... I don't really want to reset all the way. But if we... Oh, well, didn't hear whatever that was. So I'm going to stop right about here and make a save. So let's watch these paths very carefully. I can't catch this. I could put in a second ice cube, but that's probably not a good idea, right? Yeah, so just at every stage, I want to see what would happen if I had another coin or another ice cube. I sent the ice cube through that route. Is it impossible to go this route? Well... Kinda. Wait, why is it uh, impossible? If I plunged to the left, you would end up there, which seems not great. But then, what if Flounder were pushing this when Guppy was in here? There was already an ice cube there, and I put a second one in this spot. That looks promising. So if the journey of this ice cube ends here... And I do a second one right away. Good things might happen. Because that's not in the way of another coin coming down. Gotta 
Go all the way around again. That's but fine. But if we could move the Ross Ice Shelf, we'd be out of here in a jiffy. Mm -hmm. yes, Wouldn't that be nice? But if we could move the Ross Ice Shelf, then so could criminals. And you wouldn't want criminals to steal the Ross Ice Shelf, would you? <laughs> so it's a good thing that it can't be moved. Okay, orange fish for this. But what would criminals do with an ice shelf flounder? Mmm, criminal things. <laughs> she sounds so annoyed. <laughs> flounder, what are you talking about? Um, cool. This gets me an ice cube while leaving a coin up there. How do I get the other coin out? Do I need to jam three coins up right here? Yeah, like this is the magic transfer spot, isn't it? Well, let's see if it works for ice first or if I have secondary problems. I do have secondary problems. Yeah, because of the shape of this, I can't have Guppy already in there. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good reason for that not to work. Um, can it still somehow do something good somehow? I don't think so. Okay, but if my goal is to get a coin out, perhaps I can do that it's in that a machine, position. Guppy. <laughs> All right, so three at once. How about that? Like, the normal operation of that was straightforward enough that it pretty much has to be some kind of overloading operation for, uh, for getting stuff where it's going. Okay, so... A stack of three, if that plunger is in a little bit... Still has the same problem. I can't have Guppy in there for, uh... Or can I? Hold on, this can go right by three. Which is just short of sufficient, isn't it? Is it? Mm, now hang on. If I let that go down, then Guppy can kind of get in between. And yeah, she can claim a coin like this. Check it. So here's how I claim a coin. Like that. Okay, good. Uh, Flounder cannot get in there at this point, and that's a problem, isn't it? Uh, can I push this all the way in and extract it? Maybe. I don't think I can. Hmm, I may have dead-ended. It's too bad we can't move that big chunk of ice on the ceiling. That's the entire Ross Ice Shelf, Guppy. If I had pulled that out, well then... Uh, no, then then these would fall down too much. Could I have jammed a chunk of ice in there? Maybe. I think I need to like dispense normally first before I do some of these things, though. But this feels like I'm maybe on the right track. Okay, so let's uh, run the machine normally for at least this much. That's gonna plunge that down, which is mm, probably okay. I am uncertain of that. That might actually be a big problem. So ice goes this way. What happens if I put two ice in here? Everything jams up there and nothing can move. That's what happens. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's true. Okay, um... Sequencing. This might still work. It won't. Or will it? No. Or will it? No. 
Or will it? No. <laughs> nah. Uh, that's similar to what I want. It's too bad we can't move that big chunk of ice on the ceiling. I think that's part of the Ross ice shelf, Guppy. This is totally my coin extraction point. I just need this plunger all the way out, which means I need some ice jammed in here. I think. But for ice, a coin needs to go all the way down. So there's something more to this. Can I do anything from this state? Kinda doesn't look like it. Can I do anything from this state? Could I have... I could have delayed on putting these coins down. That would solve some problems, I think. Okay, yeah, so this operates independently of everything else, so I can put more coins into this point without interacting with any of the rest of the puzzle. So, first let's get an ice moving. Yeah, sure, that can move out there. Uh, but if we could move the Ross Ice Shelf, we'd be out of here in a jiffy. But criminals could move it too, and that'd be terrible for some reason. Gonna, let's see, this save was but a bad save. what would criminals do with an ice shelf, Flounder? Mm, criminal things. Uh, you're in the way. Um, that's fine. That'll resolve itself. Okay, so at this point, there are things I can do. Things that involve... Let's see, Flounder can dispense a coin while Guppy is in here. Here we go. This looks pretty good, right? I dispense two, I think? Oh, but he needs her help to reset it. Oh, dang. Hmm. Okay, what if I don't do that yet? Oh, but this won't do me any good. That's not where I want that. <sighs> Wait, check this out. Is, doesn't that do something good, having this over... He no, the problem is that... Well, if we have to be trapped by an avalanche mm -hmm. of ice with little hope of escape... It's nice that we at least have an interesting machine to play with. Can't get more ice up here with uh, coins down where they... With coins up where they are. A coin can fall down here. And get stuck there. So that seems bad. Uh... Yeah, I think this is guarded against. Still thinking? Yep, sure am. Well, hang on. So, what does happen if I do this? There! We jammed it. Oh! Now we just need to extract that coin. Okay. I guess that was I'm good. I'm sure that vandalizing vending machines is a misdemeanor. But we're doing it for the greater good. What greater good? We're just doing it to get the starfish. <laughs> That's the greater good. Okay, so, uh, that was indeed what I wanted. It did look a little too, uh, intentional to not be. Alright, 
Now we just need to get that coin out. You say, yes, that's an alternate exit. Right, I don't have to use this exit because I'm getting the coin. Right. So getting out a coin gets me a starfish. Getting out an ice block just gets me a normal exit. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. This is done, right? Or is there a part two to this? Uh, is there a part two to this? Oh, right, okay, just put this here, that's much better. No, this is done. Okay, great! Um, I guess we're going over top. That'll work. Doesn't look like there's quite enough room in the bottom. Oh, there might be a part two to this. Like, this looks awkward, but... How awkward? Are there any spaces that are less than three tall here? Probably. So I might need to move that plunger. Um, not yet. No, we're fine. And Guppy can do it from here if she needs to, which she doesn't. Okay, great. That was the whole thing. Good. Starfish. One glass of chilled salt water, shaken, not stirred. <laughs> All right then. That was great, Guppy. We figured out the machine, and we got the starfish. But most importantly, Flounder, we got out of the room. Well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I remembered, but also it did help that I remembered the, the basic function of the machine. Three pack, yeah, that one. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is a very scary puzzle. This one I could totally see myself going back to look at reference material for, but maybe my puzzle skills are better enough to... My experience with this LP has not made the obvious end of that sentence likely to come true. <laughs> Maybe though, we'll see. All right, next time I'm gonna try three pack and see what happens. Hang on, hang on, hang on, I got a starfish. I got two starfish, didn't I? Okay, how the additional characters were created. Evolution of additional characters from the first ideas and sketches to the final models. Check it out, it's the one we haven't met yet. I mean, we already saw her in a uh, in a jigsaw puzzle, so yes. I'm gonna be playing as Agent T the Turtle eventually. She comes in very, very late in the story. I don't remember how late, but very late. What is this? This is a snail or two snails? This is... are those... those are sunglasses. So at one point, Shelby wore sunglasses, like, all the way down there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Those stayed in the, the design for a while. I don't remember this at all. Huh. Okay. Agent T had things growing on her back. I don't remember what she looks like well enough to know if that's still true. No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, okay. So final designs. No things growing on her back. Two Shelbys. I wonder if they have any subtle differences in their models or anything. The text color is slightly different. Anyway, uh, Jigsaw time. Today we're in for Crab Brothers on the Beach again. Haven't we done this, like, a lot of times? This puzzle feels very familiar. Uh, alright. Crab Brothers on the Beach. Or at least King Crab. Actually, yeah, this is King Crab doing his, like, real estate appraisal of the, uh, beachfront property, isn't it? Alright, uh, yeah, let's do some text. That seems like a good idea. This is sandy, so clearly somewhere on the bottom. That joined up with your legs, so probably lower left, it looks like. Let's do some sandy things. What do you suppose would go down here? This? Yeah, that. Maybe this? Maybe there? Okay, not you. You go there. Yeah, so like coarse sand. Coarse looking. Uh, you know, zoomed in texture, etc. Well, those joined, but then how does... Okay, that joins there. 
a little like umbrella thing. You're probably on top. I see trees and stuff. Okay, you're clearly skyish. There's not a lot of sky here. That's a rock. I think that's maybe all the way on the right because I don't see much more of that rock. Maybe this, no, that's here. Is there any more umbrella? There's a tiny bit, but I might not be able to spot it. Let's get those eyes together. Okay, here's dollar sign. How does that connect to your, uh, the rest of your chain? You're wearing like two different chains? That one says boss. What's this? I cannot tell from here. Chains. Okay, this is a plausible way for chains to go. That looks about right. Uh, any more chains I can see. I think that's a little bit of a chain. No, that's something else. I don't know what that is. I don't see any more chains. Oh, there's some. Okay, that piece. Okay. Um, sand. There we go. That's good. Yeah, let's get sandy things done. Like, where's the rest of that text? It's going to be basically invisible at the bottom of some pieces. Like, it's barely on them at all. Uh, crab face? Crab face. That crab face is probably a little more to the left, kinda. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, uh, there we go. This obviously doesn't go where it is. It's gonna be down lower. Maybe a lot lower? Maybe a l not, not that much lower. So what is going on around you? That's part of your face. Okay, your face goes... Not exactly there. Okay, you can you move up one somehow? This here, this here? Yes, okay, that connected. Where's the rest of this? Where's the bottom of the boss? I don't know, I don't see it. Uh... Here's some umbrella. So I'm gonna guess this maybe goes here. It does, and then this definitely goes here. Okay, so we got, that's not fully connected. You, you're definitely the top right corner though. So this is all correct. I just need to find the in-betweens, okay? Uh, that piece, that would look like bottom of a crab leg, that. Man, it's just a mess of crab parts. Where's the rest of your face? That's not, what is this? I don't know. Where is the rest of your face? This is a knee. Those weird crab knees that look all uncomfortable. This, I have no idea. Okay, this is sky. That goes up there somehow, obviously. Okay, um. Here's the rest of your face, I see it. Got like a little goatee thing going on there. Uh, there we go, that connected. Okay, where do I even start in the rest of this? That helped, maybe. I don't know, what could be like connected to this leg? This? No. This? No. Yes! Oh, okay. So that dollar sign is just sort of off to the side. Okay, so this is mostly sandy. Not that. Not that. Not that. It still has... Oh, that's his lighter. That's right. Okay. The money lighter. Okay. So the side of the money lighter. It's very dark gray. This. Okay. Claw. Mm, 
can't quite picture what that would look like. Okay, so this is mostly sand, but a little bit of crab part in it, like this, yes. All right, an angle that looks kind of like that, but without the this part. You, but you don't fit. You, but you have too much other stuff going on. You? Yeah. So this might, uh, does not, no way. Um, that looks plausible. It's not, but it looked like it was. Uh, these clearly mate with each other, okay. That little dagger thing, whatever that is. This must go here. Mm -hmm. All that like coarse grain looking sand, the stuff that's in the foreground. So foreground sand here. Okay, good. You are not in that row. You're here? Yeah, maybe there or here. That would mean some sky up above you like that. Yes, okay, great. Can I get the connecting piece there? That's not it. Uh, oh, something looks wrong. That goes there. Okay, if you say so. What's the top of your head look like? That and that. Mm -hmm. Still don't know what this is yet. That's part of your knee. I'm gonna just break that apart. I guess this goes here, but I can't put it. Okay, other knee, uh, rest of face, I don't know. Where is the rest of your face? That's not it. What does it look like? Nothing that I have? This? Yeah, that. Okay, I'm just going to kind of move things around and hope good things happen because I can't really tell what anything is anymore. That was that. This is not here. It's here. Okay. You must be this. Okay, there we go. There we go. King Crab on the beach with... Can't quite tell what that is. Is that his ashtray? That is lighter. A drink with an umbrella in it. Just being himself. All right, cool. Uh, okay, so next time, three pack, I guess. Look forward to that.